Whittier, California, I come in the name of the Lord with the message, repent and be baptized for the kingdom of heaven is near. For all those of you here in Whittier, California, who do not know Jesus Christ as Savior, who've never become a Christian, or maybe he started as a Christian, but he didn't continue, well, I want to offer you an opportunity now to become a Christian or recommit your life and become baptized in the Spirit. So, be ready and able and willing to say with all integrity and honesty and sincerity that you're a sinner. You say to Jesus, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry, Jesus. Thanks for dying for my sins. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. And I baptize you right now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you accept this, you are now a Christian. Welcome and congratulations. God be with you and bless you. You're a brother or sister in Christ. We're part of the family now. So, if you're now a Christian, if you said yes to Jesus, first thing you should start doing is talking to God. We call that prayer. Talk to God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's one God, three persons. We call that the Trinity, the triune God here in Whittier, California. Hello, West Whittier. So you talk to God. Wherever you are, talk while you're walking, talk while you're driving with your eyes open. And we call it, you can pray with your eyes open, not just not just in church with your eyes closed, but that's good too. It's all good as long as you're talking to God. Building a relationship with Jesus. Telling him how you're doing. He wants to know, he cares about you, he loves you, he wants to know how you're feeling, you know, what you're struggling with what you need help with. He already knows, but he wants you to tell, tell him. He knows everything. He knows if you're going to commit to Christ or not. Commit to him or not. But you still got to do it. It's a matter of the will. We call that free will. Anyways, once you start talking to God and praying all the time, you need to also start reading his, his, his word. Called the Word of God, the Bible. You can get a Bible for me for free if you message me on YouTube. I'll send you one. You can get them for free at some churches if you tell them you're a new Christian. You can get them for a few dollars at a bookstore. You can read it online. It's a big book, lots of little books in, in between the one big book. And two Testaments, the New and the Old Testament. It's the story of God's creation. Genesis to Revelation, the beginning and the end. His purpose for us as believers. You won't understand everything right away, but it'll help. You understand the basics that Jesus loves us. God loves us so much that He allowed His Son Jesus to die for us. That's the gist of the story, and that's why we have to be grateful. And then you should find a church to help further elaborate and explain the Bible to you. Find a church that upholds traditional values. I encourage you to find a church that supports one man, one woman marriage and also that will defend unborn life and is against abortion. These are basics that I think, that I know God uh, wants for us as Christians. The Bible is clear about that even though others will try to tell you otherwise. So, um, and so find a church that supports that, a preacher, a, a pastor who clearly teaches the Bible and cares about you, and a congregation that also will care about you and pray for you and encourage you as a new Christian as you grow in Christ and become mature in faith and maybe even become an evangelist or pastor or leader of some sort in the church. I'll leave it at that for now. Those are the basic beginning steps. God be with you and bless you. I'll be praying for you. Message me on YouTube if you have any questions. You're in Whittier, California. Merry Christmas.